If you are currently leveling up your Django skills with this tutorial, just to let you know, this tutorial is part of a free YouTube playlist, Django Database Structural Testing, where we learn how to set up and utilize PyTest for database structural testing within Django projects. If you like this tutorial and playlist, then also check out our Django Database RM Mastery course on Udemy. The link to the course and playlist should be found in the video description. Our last test in this phase is to check that we have correctly defined any unique values in the current table that we're working with, and that's the category table. If we take a look at our category table, we can see that the slug field in the category table here has been designated or defined as unique. So throughout our database, the slug field value will be completely unique in all records. If you're not too sure, utilize the key, gives you an indication of what all these values represent after the name of the field. So let's go ahead and now build a test to ensure that our slug field has been set up or configured correctly within our Django models so that it is a unique field. Let's start by copying down the previous test. That should have all the guts that we need to build our test. Now in this test, to test whether a field is unique or not, we're simply going to change the assert. So we're not now checking the max length like we did previously in the previous test. We're going to now check for unique. So we're simply going to check whether the field is unique or not by capturing the field here. And then we're going to go ahead and see if the unique field property is true or false, whether it has been set to unique or not. Now, like the previous test, it's probably best for us to test all of our fields in case we've accidentally set up a unique field unintentionally, or maybe a change has been made, which we don't want as per our design specifications. So let's bring in all the fields. And this is nicely set up for us. So the slug should be true. That should be the unique field here that we've defined. And we just need to now change some of the, well, we need to change the name of the test to, let's change this to uh, test model structure is unique or unique fields, we could call this, yeah, unique field. Okay, so it's not the expected length now. Let's change the expected length to something more relevant in this case. So is unique. And now we can just make sure that our test is set up. So we want to pass in the model field name and is unique to our test. Now we're going to grab the field name and then we're going to perform the test on the field. Obviously now we're going to perform the test on is unique value, true or false. And then we can finish off by changing the, the text here should the test cause an error. So let's go for field name. Uh, let's say unique, unique, uh, uniqueness mismatch. Okay. Now, if you have just dropped into this test, remember this text here will appear only if the test has failed. So that gives us maybe some additional information that might be useful for us to debug and to maybe make the changes so the test will pass successfully. It's not mandatory, remember, but it can be helpful. So let's test this out. Now, this should fail. And there we go. So we have two failed here. So let's take a look to see where we have failed. And you can see that our message appears that we've created. Our test message should the test fail. And it says field name uniqueness mismatch. Okay, so it looks like we have an issue there. If we look a bit further up, um, field ID uniqueness mismatch too. We've set that to false. And remember, this is the primary key. It should be unique. Uh, so we probably need to specify the fact that should be the case. So we have two failures. So let's go back into the code and see where we went wrong. So first of all, the ID. So that should be set to true. So that, that should be um, our primary key, which should be unique. So let's take a look at the design. We can see here that the name hasn't been specified as unique. If we take a look at our model, we have actually defined the name as unique. 
So let's just stick with the design for now and remove that from the name. You may not have need to do that. I may have added that there just for us to capture an error to make it a little bit more interesting. So let's go back now to our tests. Let's just make sure that everything passed. There we go. Our test has passed. It looks like everything is fine. You can do some sanity checks if you like. So if you wanted to change true to maybe false here in the slug test to make sure that is working correctly, you can see now that we are receiving the problem. Build slug uniqueness mismatch. Remember that again, that's the text we generated. Um, should there be a failure, which helps us easily identify which field is failing. So let's just change that back to true the slug. And let's just make sure everything works again. And there we go. So we now have a basic set of structural tests. This is going to ensure that if we do make any changes to our models, um, unintentionally maybe, then that's going to be captured by our tests because our tests now have defined how our models should be configured as per our specification here in our design. Of course, we just need to remember that if we do update the models, we update the actual documentation, our design here to ensure that everything is nicely synced 